Hello friends, welcome to Helping Testers. So in this session, we will be talking about API testing or what I want to say is that we will be configuring various type of REST APIs in JMeter and we will see how we can execute them. Regarding the testing, yes, we already know that how we can use rejects and assertions and we, we can make test cases. So the main part of API testing left is to generate various type of API requests like get request, port request, put delete. For learning of this scenarios, we also need some APIs which we can execute. So what we'll be doing, we will be using Jira. Now what is a Jira? Jira is a test management tool. So this tool, what it has done, it has also exposed it APIs. So you can use those APIs and you can make changes to your account using those APIs. Either you can use the GUI mode. So first of all, we need to create account in this Jira. You can click on try free and click you can sign up and you can create your account. They uh, generally provide one month free access and that is pretty much for learning of JMeter APIs. Also, when you click on try now, you need to enroll for this Jira software try cloud. Also, uh, you can, it is sorry, it is free for seven days, right? Also, when you create our account you have to enter one url for your project when you create your jira cloud so jira guys ask that what is your url of test planning tool it is a custom domain so you can give whatever name you can want to give like for my case i have given this name learn jmeter atlassian.net right so once you have created your account you will get a url like this i have prepared this in my case okay so let's open this okay so you will get something like this when you click on this you will enter your email and your password for, for jira and you will be logged into your account so for mine case it is showing some data but in your case it won't be showing a data because for mine i have already linked one project how you can do in your case you just need to create go on projects create an another project and what i will say that create a sample data okay so I want to create a project having some sample data for learning and then I will create a scrum software project. Now I will say learn JMeter. Okay. Clear. That is the key. So that is good. So currently my dashboard has two or three projects but we will be learning or working on this project only that is learn JMeter. So it's a test planning tool you can have a number of projects and there you can create your issues your agile boards and all those we're not bothered much about it we are just bothered that we have some test data here now you can see layer one and two so that's all that's all don't if you're not aware of jira don't need to go more in detail right this is a project learn layer right so we will be working on this also if you click here and write jmeter rest api documentation so you will get a documentation here for the api's documentation this one just a second uh okay this okay so it is showing you the various apis it have okay and that which is the get request which is the put request and how you can access them using these apis you can control all your jira activities 
and in detail how these APIs work. So what I have done, I have taken or selected some of the APIs which will be studying. So you can try some of the other APIs. But if you still work on the APIs which I am showing, that is pretty much sufficient for you to learn how we can send different type of REST APIs using the JMeter. So first we'll be looking at a create issue that how we can create an issue. So if you go to, th to this link. That is this one creates an issue from a JSON presentation. And if you click on expand here, this so you will find a long request which says that whatever fields are required. If let's say I want to create an issue, how you create an issue, you click on create an issue. Let's say I want to create a bug, I will name the bug name that is my error error while loading i will give some some a description okay uh, and i will these give these fields environment labels versions and all this stuff and i will click create now when i click on create now an issue is created in jira now now you can see here out of so many fields only these three are mandatory summary issue type and projects if you in order to create an issue in jira right so if i go to the documentation it gives us so many huge fields here you can you need to do while creating of jira but we are not interested in this we need to just use the minimum set for creation of an issue because our motive here is to understand how to send a post request right so i have an another link here which give me a minimum set how we can create an issue let's go to this okay so it has given me such a small command by which we can create a post request start working let me open my jmeter and let's start working so first of all i will create a thread group now next i want to send an http request a post request so i will add a http request which type of request i want to send i want to send a post request what is the server ip my domain name is this let's copy this and paste it here right now what is the post api in order to send a post api you need to use this is the path this is your domain name and the path where this post request should be created is this so just copy this and paste it here now the body part we have seen the minimum type of body so just copy it and paste it here okay let me first work on a notepad so it is clearly visible okay now you can see here it is giving me fields and the project now the project key is test but for my project what is the project key? The project key is this LEAR. This is the project key which we created LEAR. So we need to update this LEAR. Summary. Let's say the summary is learning JMeter post request and the description I want to give it as let's say dummy description and i want to create a bug let's copy this and use in my jmeter okay so this is my post request created i have my domain the url of my post request that is how to create an issue okay 
uh, this is the URL create an issue and the test data the minimum set with the minimum fields which are required to create a post request create request what we have done we have updated the key that is the layer key and some description and let us save this let us save this to the videos API testing and I will name it as post create create an issue okay and let me run this also let me add a view result tree okay and run this now here you are finding an error the error is saying method not allowed because first of all to access or to create an issue you need to first login into this jmeter learn jmeter your domain but i am not logged in here i am just creating a issue so i need to first login so for logging in i can use a config element authorization manager here so i can use here the base url this is my base url so i will just copy this and use it here this is the paste url username is my email id so i will use to web of just a second i just to web of three i think it is i just created one test email for this jira that is to web of 13 i will enter a password don't uh, use this my email id or this password just create your own jira account the reason is it only has seven days access so when you will be using it will be expired by then okay so i have added the authorization here now so what i have told i have told that uh, when you click on this domain first you can authorize the domain using my credentials and then you can create an issue in jira let me run this now so it has again failed that is the method not allowed so there are two reasons once we learned uh, learning jmeter there were some config elements cache and cookie which i told you that these are necessary when you are working with apis now when you create an account when i'm creating on these activities let's say i'm clicking on layer report and some another links i need not to do login again and again the reason is this browser my browser has installed some cache settings so till the time i logged out i will remain logged in on this browser so that is a cache okay so i have done cache in my browser and everyone has so that's they are not logged out for the same behavior i need to add cache manager and also i need to use a http header a config element http header manager that i need to tell that this api that the content type of this api is application json this we have to use when we are sending the rest apis we have to tell that this rest api is in json format okay because rest api can also be implemented in xml you can send an excel data so we have to tell that this is a json request so what we have done we have a sampler http request for create issue we have an authorization manager 
which tells the Jira that I am the concerned person, I am the valid user having username and password to log it into the application so that I can create an issue. Cache manager is for caching purpose and header manager is to tell that this request is of JSON type. One more thing you need to be aware of, we have studied this that when you are using the implementation you have to select Java here. It is an, you can see here, it's an HTTPS website and I am using HTTP, the default is HTTP. So I have to write HTTPS here. So let me add a cookie manager here as well and see if it works fine. When you're working with the APIs, you have to do these type of stuff so that your API starts working. So error message is unexpected character code line, expected a valid value. So I think there is some issue with our request here. So our request is this. The reason is that here this is a string and I am passing it as without the braces. So as this is a string, this should be under the inverted commas. Okay, now let's save and clear the old result and run now. Okay, it is in green. I we debugged and analyzed the issue and now your API is running fine. So first of all, we just did a post request and it was failing. The reason was that there was some error with the string. We again run and the error was that we need to use HTTPS. Then again the error, we use the Java implementation. Then again the error, what we did, we did use the authorization manager because we need to log in for creating an issue. Then we use cache and cookie manager. And then we used header manager that is we need to tell that application is of type JSON. So we need to do this multiple request for creating. Now you see here the issue is created with an issue ID of 12247. Issue ID is this. Let me search for the issue. Search for the issues. Okay. So this is layer 24 which is created just now. Let's see the time. I will create an all here. So you can see one minute ago this issue is created. Let me run this API again. Clear this result and run this up API again. So and again an issue is created with a next ID that is layer 24. Let me refresh it here. The screen is refreshing. Just a moment, please. Okay. So, a new bug is created with a 25. You can see here, layer 25, which is here. So, it is created. Okay. So, whenever you create a create issue, a new issue is created with a new ID. So that's how you can use the POST request. Now let's take in another example of POST request. And what we'll be doing, we will be adding watchers. Let's copy this to get the documentation for watchers. So how you can add the watchers, you have to, it's a POST request here. And what you need to do, you need to add an issue ID here and the name you want to add as a watcher what is a watcher actually if this is a request and you will find a option here stop watching this issue here and start watching this issue here so you can see the watcher is currently web of gupta okay so what the benefit of adding watcher is that any changes if i'm watching this issue and if any changes come to this issue type, so I will receive a mail that as being your watcher of this issue. So you, this change has been done. 
so it informs me whenever there is any changes so currently i have deselected is i am not watching this issue and uh, let me using the api i will be doing this thing i will be adding myself as a watcher so currently i am not adding as a watcher right i will do with the help of api first of all i will have a one thread group and inside a thread group i will add an http request of a watcher so this is my domain it's an http first of all it's a java implementation it's an https and this is my domain right and my path for the watcher to create is this is the path right and issue id i will tell you how we can get an issue id and we and the name so in the body type of a post request i have to mention the name so i am the admin so the admin the issue type issue key issue id so how you get an issue id if this is the page uh, you just right click on it you go to view page source and this is 25 here so you will find a reference link here that is known as the issue id so if you go here you will find this option reference so this is my issue id or you can also get it when you create a new issue using the postman in the response it was mentioning the issue id okay so let me copy this issue id and paste it here and uh, so we are all set this is a request also we will add a configuration that is authorization manager so that we can log in so this is our this is our base url so i will add to this base url my email id the rate gmail.com and my dummy test password for now also i will add a cache manager i will add a cookie manager also i will tell this request is of json type so in the header i will mention that the content type of this request is application json okay so we have told that it is of json type i think i have made the mistake okay this is the one and i will add view result for capturing the result and let me save my script as watcher and let me run this so it has failed anyhow it is good if anything is failing at least we are learning something so i am using the get request while it is a post request okay let me just revise it again https zero four eight watchers okay learn i missed the l in the domain name and let me run this again okay it is green now so you can see it sent the request and no response so this was my api uh, issue so it was not having a watcher let me refresh it when i refresh my issue you can see now it is coming one it here because through the api what i have done i have added a watch or as myself for this issue type okay so this is how uh, you can send post request we have seen two example one was creating an issue in jira and another is adding a watcher to a issue type
so post requests are generally used for adding something to the server when we are creating an issue we are adding some data on our server when we are watching it we are adding the name of the person who will be watched into the issue type so post request is used when we are adding some get request are used to retrieve anything from the server okay so our first example is view watchers let me open this so previously we use this one a post request for adding a watcher now we will be using a best that is returns the list of watchers so let's use the same issue currently one person is assigned as a watcher that is me myself so we'll be using this request for fetching the watchers of an issue type so i will be using my old api only okay so let me save this with a different name because i don't want to add this authorization manager cache cookie and header manager again and again add these would be common for all the rest apis for this jira server so i will use get watchers and instead of this http i will be using a get request and it would be the this one only okay this is the id and for this i want to get the watchers there would be no body type and i think that's it here we will be talking about delete apis so first of all we will be deleting a watcher so what you mean by deleting a watcher this is my issue okay this is one of my issue so we have studied that how we can add a watcher so we used a post request and add a watcher to this issue now using the delete api we will be deleting a watcher from this issue so we have one issue here one person which is associated that is admin uh, who is watching this issue so we'll be delete this using the delete api so let us copy this and open the documentation of this api so first of all let me save this test plan as a name delete watcher and the request i will be using would be delete and let me paste this here so first of all the issue key we know how we find an issue key just right click on this go to the page source and if i here search for layer 25 so i will find this reference that is one double zero four eight is my key username the username i want to delete is admin so this is the parameter and this is our value this is how we give it so this is how we assign the username to the watchers so let's save this and run now so it has passed you can see that it was above the old result so it has passed you can see this is watchers admin and it has passed and this was our issue which was having a watcher added to it and now me, let me refresh it and you can see the watcher has been deleted so this is how you can use the delete api requests here we will be seeing an another delete rest request that is how to delete a comment let us open its documentation first so this is the one and what i mean by deleting a comment this is my issue so if i go to comments here i can comment on this issue as well so i can write here hello this is a comment i can click on add so this comment would be posted here in the comment section 
I can delete this comment. Okay. So using this delete comment, I would be deleting a comment, right? So let me again write a comment here. I will just name it comment. Okay. So in my JMeter, I will add a thread group and I will add a sampler, HTTP sampler. First of all, it's a Java implementation, HTTPS. This is my base, that is domain. Okay, and uh, let me add initializations, that is a cache manager, that is a cookie manager, I have to add an authorization manager, so that I am able to log in, okay, this is my base URL, my username is my email ID, and the password my dummy password okay i have to also tell that this request this gis this gis request rest request is of json type so i have to mention that the content type of this request is application json i think that's all and let me also add a view result tree let me save this my jmx file as delete delete comment and let me save this okay so this was my documentation for the delete okay so I have to use this URI first of all the issue ID so we know for this the again thing that is 10048 we already know it the ID is 10048 by right clicking on it and the another is comment id how to get a comment id just go to uh, and click on paralink so in this comment url you will find a comment id and let me go back so we have a comment here right it is a delete request right i'm i want to delete that comment okay let me clear the old result save it and run it now okay so it is executing it is successfully execute and in the response okay now we are not getting any response before we were right so i think it has run successfully let us refresh my issue type so it has refreshed and you can see the comment has been deleted if you go to the all activity here you can see just now made changes the comment has been deleted so using this rest api the delete rest api you can delete the delete you can also execute the delete request okay so that's all thank you for watching this video